Hey, hey everybody, what is going on? Serial Overdrive here, and today we're going to be going over how to install mods in Starfield. This time, specifically, we're going to be looking at installing a DLSS or XESS mod. So this is going to make the game run better. So first things first, if you're going to install any mod, generally you're going to want to get it from nexusmods.com. So you're going to want to go to nexusmods.com slash Starfield, or just go to Google and type Nexus Mods space Starfield. You're going to come up to a screen like this and this the most popular mod is going to be the one that we're downloading the starfield upscaler replacing fsr2 with dlss or xess so click into here and now there's two options when you go to files you can either download do the mod manager download or the manual download now when it comes to mods in general with starfield there is going to be a better system set up at some point in the future so if you're watching this video maybe two or three months from now just go to a different video there's probably a better way to do it in fact maybe i made a video going over a better way to do it but right now you've got to go to manual downloads and then you've got to go ahead and download this file before downloading a file you do need to sign up for an account if you choose the free account, you're going to have a slow download option. Disregard these advertisements here. I have no idea what they're doing, not based on my search history at all. Anyways, click there to download the file or it'll just start downloading automatically. And now we go back to the description. And this is where we're going to see how to actually install this mod. Every mod has a slightly different install process, but the description is usually fairly good at telling you how to install a mod. So this is the first place that you want to go. So it's going to say extract this mod into the game's root folder. So conveniently, I've opened this up over here. What we're going to do is we're going to take this from downloads. We go to the Starfield upscaler, blah, blah, blah. Go in there. We're going to copy all of this. Go to where Starfield is located. Now, here's how you're going to find where Starfield is located. On the Game Pass, back click or right click. Go to Manage. This would be on your Starfield play. And you're going to want to go to files and right here, if you click browse, this would be where Starfield is located. That's for the game pass on steam. The way you're going to be doing it, I'm going to use Baldur's Gate because I will not buy Starfield twice just to show you how to install it on game pass or how to install a mod on game pass or steam. Um, but yeah, on Baldur's Gate, you do the same thing with Starfield though. You go to manage and then you click browse local files. It's going to open up right where Baldur's Gate 3, in my case, is installed, or in your case, this would be Starfield. Anyways, go ahead and click into Starfield, click into content, and you should see starfield.exe, or this sort of thing right here where it says Starfield and then application. That means you're in the right place. If you're here, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and paste that. So everything's going to paste. This would be everything that you just downloaded. It's going to go ahead and paste there. So you have mods, reshade, shade, shaders, everything. Okay. So now you're back in your installation. You're going to need to install the upscaler base plugin. So what you're going to need to do is click over here. This is going to be another mod. Go ahead to files. Go ahead and manually download that. So now once it is manually downloaded, you're going to want to go into the mods folder in Starfield, the upscaler base plugin. And then you should be able to just copy this pdperf plugin.dll file over. And bing, bang, boom, that is done. Next up, what you're going to want to do is install nvngx underscore dls dot dll or the libxess.dll. If you want dlss, you're going to want to install this first one, this nvngx underscore dlss dot dll. This is only for NVIDIA GPUs, I believe. libxessx is going to work with. AMD GPUs, so that's always an option. It tells you how to do it. You go to your check, your sort of, you go to your upscale base plugin. Then you're gonna wanna go here and you can see all your options for downloading. In my case, I'm gonna go here, attack power up. I'm gonna click download for the latest DLS, dot DLL, and I'm gonna click the one that I want. It's gonna go ahead and download. Get this file, click into there. We've got that DLL, and again, you're going to need to just drop it into your mods folder, your upscaler base plugin. You just drop that in. 
So it should look like that. You should have NVNGX underscore DLSS dot DLL and your PDP ERF plugin underscore dot DLL file in the same folder. Now you load into Starfield and to see if things work, once you're in the game, go to your settings. First off, you're gonna wanna go to display. You wanna make sure FSR2 is enabled or on as far as your upscaling options go. Now let's go out of there and you're gonna wanna hit your number locks in my case it would be my home key and this pops up and here you've got your starfield upscaler you can enable or disable it right here and that's um what you're looking at it enables dlss2 super resolution or dlss3 which you unfortunately have to pay for for this mod in starfield